Hey everybody, welcome to the For You Fitness Podcast and today we are going to be talking about a supplement that is all the rage. <laughs> it's seriously surging in popularity because of its insane benefits and today to help me deliver that information is founder of Herba Essentials. Everybody, meet Brie. Brie, let's talk about who you are and what you do. All right, well, that's a big question, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, right. So, in short, I own, I'm the owner of Herba Essentials along with my business partner, Sabrina Pantano, who could not be here. Um, but we started this company just this year, so it's been, and it's our opening week, so we literally just opened mm -hmm. this past weekend. Congrats. So, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Yeah, it's been a fun adventure up to this point. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And now, what else do you do besides that? So, outside of that, I just recently finished this past summer my master's in mental health counseling. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I did a whole year stint at... Uh, and I say stint because it was <laughs> it was an interesting time at a all women's substance abuse facility mm -hmm. uh, up in Palm Beach County, and I think that's kind of really where I got the idea, you know, for this company in the first place. You work with so many addicts, um, and you see so many people on these medications for all these different types of things, or they got addicted to pain pills, or you know, for for little things, injuries, back injuries, chronic pain, and I really saw like a need to have like a more. I'm not saying like every you know medicine that you get is not helpful at some point because it is but if we get something that's more natural mm -hmm. has a more holistic approach and it's not addictive mm -hmm. um, that was one of the big driving points from that learning experience so i took time off of becoming a therapist gotcha. to kind of put this yeah. vision forward so this supplement that we're talking about is called c b d yes if you haven't heard of it you might be living under a rock um i I'm kind of new to the CBD game, mm -hmm. um, so tell us, what is CBD? Break it down for yes. us. So without going into the whole scientific realm of things, CBD comes from hemp, not marijuana. They come from the same plant mm -hmm. family. So CBD comes from uh, the raw oil of the hemp plant, and it has all of the healing benefits of medical marijuana but without the psychoactive high because you don't have that very high level of THC present in the hemp plant. You have this like wide range of all these cannabinoids and terpenes that add to this effect that you get in your body. And so if like you're a mom and you're driving your kids to school, you don't have to worry about oh, be no. getting pulled over yeah. <laughs> and being drug tested no. and yeah. <laughs> being no, absolutely. getting a ticket yeah. for being high. Yeah, no, absolutely not. And okay. the fun fact enough is everyone's body and then other plants uh, that we consume in our diet contain cannabinoids. Like our bodies are naturally made to produce and use cannabinoids in our, you know, that's how our genetic makeup, that we use them in our body, we naturally produce them, we get them from plants, vegetables, everything that we consume. Um, to some effect, a lot of it has cannabinoids in it. We just, we have never heard this word before, so it's not like it's this new foreign concept, it's just coming in a different, you know, plant medicine. Right, yeah. and why is it taking off at this moment? Um, that's a good question. I think specifically because of the law that just got signed into place. Mm -hmm. uh, President Trump a couple weeks ago did sign in the Farm Bill, the 2018 Farm Bill, which now took hemp, you know, on a federal level off the controlled substance list. Uh -huh. So it's now the floodgates are open. It's federally legal, um, and it's you know opening up all these doors for all these farmers, people to cultivate it. So it's making the American economy right now. It's kind of like this opportunity to to boom the farming industry again. Right. Yeah. So we're likely seeing the CBD oil, CBD oil yeah. everywhere. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. From tobacco shops to drug stores, corner stores, um, right now to coffee shops to pizza places. There's there's pizza places in South Florida that now sell a CBD infused pizza. Oh, even in bars too. Yep, yep. infusing mm -hmm. CBD oil yep. into the drinks, yep. right? Everywhere. Yep. Yep. Now, because it's legalized, so it's now everywhere, how do you know if it's quality CBD? Um, I mean, what are we supposed to be looking for? Mm -hmm. Like, how do we decipher quality versus crap products? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say transparency. Okay. So if a company is really up forward, because the companies that have 
hemp from farms that have been doing this for a long time mm -hmm. that are producing high quality hemp in the states they're going to tell you because they're proud to to carry you know the american you know for, like there's certain farm act states that, that have been doing this forever like states like colorado there was uh kentucky north carolina um all these different states there's many many more than mm -hmm. that but there are states that, that have been doing this for years and years and years like way beyond um, this current legalization so if someone were to go into your website right now so if you're listening to this herbaessentials.com where will they see or what will they see on your website that indicates mm -hmm. the quality of your product okay so two different places one there's a tab called what is cbd and okay. there we have like a video that you can watch okay um and it just talks about like where we get our hemp from so all of our hemp gets organically non-gmo grown hemp in kentucky Oh. Um, so every all of our hemp plants, everything is um, registered with the Department of Agriculture. So like everything's awesome. good to go there. Um, so frequent testing, everything like that. All the oils um, there, the raw oils get extracted there from the farm, from the hemp plants, and then they get sent over to our headquarters in Connecticut, where your final products are made. And and a majority of our oils, the only ingredients you're going to have are hemp CBD and organic hemp seed oil, and that's it. Finished. Two ingredients. Two ingredients. Um, our lotions, not so much, but mm -hmm. I did personally, uh, Sabrina and I spent months because um, we originally, the lab would send samples that they have, pre-made mm -hmm. stuff, and there was a lot of um, controversial ingredients in it. So we said we completely scratched it. We started with an all-natural lotion base, and mm -hmm. we built it from there, and we tested it for months on ourselves, our friends, our family. That so, stuff is yeah. bomb. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. It. I mean. Oh. I. Okay. I'm a little biased, maybe, yeah. just because I know you guys. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just. It. It worked for me. Yeah. Um. Fantastic. Stop what you're doing. Go to www.herbaessentials.com. Check out what she's talking about. It All is right. Amazing. It's Absolutely. Incredible. Um. Okay. So, a couple different misconceptions. You know, mm -hmm. when people are referring or, or you know. Are trying to understand what CBD is meaning mm -hmm. like we just talked about yeah, you, you, you're not technically high okay well you're yep. not high yeah um, but what is and you talked about the difference between CBD and cannabis um, will you become dependent on it is Absolutely. there are there cravings for it do you just fiend for it mm, no I mean I would say coffee is more addictive than CBD okay. <laughs> you know caffeine okay. you know you're not in your body there's no like oh my god I have to have this I mean you definitely will feel like let's say um, perfect example vitamin D mm -hmm. the other you know our my body might produce more than your body so as you might feel the need to have this vitamin in your body just like some people might not have enough of those naturally occurring cannabinoids in their body so they have have a greater need for their CBD like oh I get a better sleep when I have my CBD versus when I don't have it but it's sure. not like this like physical I need this it's more of like oh this just helps me like function better this supplement makes me feel better it's like a vitamin you know okay. what I mean that helps your body you know function at a, at a more balanced rate you know what I mean mm -hmm. it keeps you at that homeostasis that balance let's dive a little bit more yeah. into the other the benefits yeah uh, and, and who would benefit from mm. taking CBD oil? Yeah, absolutely. Um, anyone. Anyone. Uh, <laughs> anyone. Uh, it helps from things as minor as, you know, muscle aches, pains, arthritis, headaches, nausea. I mean, there's like 50 different ailments going to the more severe things. We've had people with fibromyalgia, people on disability, um, people with severe um, like chips in their bones like we've had all these different types of ailments and it's been crazy to see like how much of an impact it has for these people with the oils and sure and it's been people of all different ages mm -hmm. um, that have been trying these products and it helps for a wide variety of different things so when you start taking this when can you actually expect to feel a difference of any kind um, that really depends on your body mm -hmm. um, so it's like with any other thing with any other type of supplement some are more instantaneous but with cbd specifically since there isn't that you know high feeling mm -hmm. people most people don't really know what to expect yeah. um, they're usually just feeling an intense pain it's kind of more of a relaxing kind of calming feeling that mm -hmm. comes over the body like how you're supposed to normally feel like not have intense pain or stress or you feel like genuinely relaxed right um, I would say typically we say you know give it at least one to two weeks of taking the minimum recommended dosage and then if you're not feeling the effects of that then to keep upping it because everyone's body is so different mm -hmm. and it, a lot of it's based on weight too so 
I might need two droppers full, you might need a half a mm -hmm. dropper. I don't know, or it could be reverse, like right. everyone's body is, my, I, I'm very sensitive to CBD. Like I take a quarter of a dropper, I get drowsy. That's just for me, so I take it at bedtime. Gotcha. Um, for some people that does happen, mm -hmm. they might feel a little tired, but it's not like an, oh my God, I'm gonna sure. pass out right now. It's I'll more of like I'll be good with two droppers, I'll be yeah. like, let's yes. bring, bring on the day, I'm yes. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for some people it does, it does bring energy to some people, mm -hmm. so it's really, um, we never recommend dosage. We'll suggest one dropper full because that's about 10 milligrams mm -hmm. of CBD. And then you can kind of adjust from there and, sure. and really kind of feel it out based on your body type. What about for our athletes or people trying to recover from workouts? Um, I always recommend the combination of the lotion with the, the actual oil. Um, yeah, so both lotion. of them, we do offer two packs. So I specifically bundled a 500 milligram and our big lotion. And then we also sell a sample pack. So they're like little sample sizes of both. And I think for the athlete, like the oils are really good, but I think most people who are super athletic, mm -hmm. they want that instantaneous feeling. So mm -hmm. that icy cooling feeling on their muscles, right. and, you know, the, the brain's like, oh, I, I, I feel that. And I associate that with healing. So yes. a lot of our athletes really do, um, love the yes. lotion but um on an internal level really fighting the inflammation the oils are amazing right so the difference between this cream and an icy hot mm -hmm. big difference mm -hmm. with the icy hot i would say it's really more of a placebo effect people yeah. put I icy hot on and it kind of tricks the brain it's like oh it's it's warm and then it's cool and then i feel like but it's only on a topical level like okay. this stuff doesn't have any sort of like you might have like a menthol or i think it has cam four in it something that's really going to soothe but it never really you might absorb a little bit but it never really sure. absorbs enough to give any sort of real healing effect to like the muscles like after you just w had this intense workout tears your muscle fibers mm -hmm. you're you know you might have some inflammation in the body you're actually absorbing the cbd in the lotion so it's working on a topical and an internal level as well because your skin is absorbing that cbd awesome. yeah anybody with aches pains including my husband <laughs> needs to take stuff like yeah. this um fantastic Okay, so for people who've never tried CBD oil, it's got a very distinct flavor to it and they mm -hmm. may not like it, you know, like the all natural one. Is there anything that they can mix it with without compromising mm -hmm. um, the actual oil and the benefits of it? Uh, absolutely. So we do work with a lot of athletes and a lot of people in general that it does have a more earthy mm -hmm. taste. It's, mm -hmm. it, you know, it comes from plants. It's so natural. It does, it's very natural. It yes. has that earthy taste yeah. to it. Um, some people doesn't bother me. Other, for other people, I've had people put it in their protein shakes. Um, sometimes we'll stick it in our coffee in the morning, tea. Uh, I've had people, you know, they meal prep their food and they use it as the oil to kind of like make whatever meat or, ah. you know, like stir fry something that they made for their meal prep. They'll just put it on and mix it up with their food. So even when it's cooked down and heated, it won't? Um, not cooked down, but like okay. if you were to put it, so people who like meal prep like ground gotcha. turkey and they okay. mix it with the vegetables and everything, they put it on as the oil to kind of like make it, it a little bit. So almost as a marinade into the marinade. Yes. Okay. You can also, since it has that oil base, I mean, you could take a little bit of apple cider vinegar, mix it up with the oil, because it's an oil base and you can yeah. make a little dressing. You this is do, genius. Yeah. Oh, it's a one-stop shop for health right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. And then we do also offer the 250 and the 500 in mint as well Ooh. so people who don't like that we have mint and then we're also testing out different flavors right now like orange lemon strawberry uh, those gotcha. types of things for people so right now it's it's just in liquid form will mm -hmm. it ever or do you even have like capsules or what's the difference between mm -hmm. if people find them in capsules somewhere else um, so right now there's a lot of so a lot of that stuff is based on water soluble CBD mm -hmm. um, and the lab that we work with so there's a lot of things that we could do but we're looking for it to be the highest quality um, and to get a certain amount of CBD you have to literally make something that's not meant to mix with water to be able to mix with water so it, it messes up with the dosage it's not as accurate um, I, I'm not so much into the scientific part of it, sure. but they explained to me, you know, it's all based on this water soluble CBD, getting it, getting something to naturally mix with water that's not meant to be. So they play around with all these formulas, mm -hmm. but yes, uh, we're hoping for springtime, we'll have a full line of capsules, some infused sure. with melatonin, uh, oh. some with some BCAs, oh. and then we should also have some sort of a protein, CBD protein powder infused, so yes, yes. those will all be on the horizon. That's fantastic. Um, 
you talked about you've talked about quality this whole time. Mm -hmm. Is is this your mission? Like, what do you guys stand by when you're putting Herba Essentials out there? So it's absolutely about quality. I think it's such a disservice when I see like not just CBD companies, but companies in general. Um, they start out really small and amazing, but as they grow, they lose their quality and their customer service um, and their products, which I think is such a shame because you know the customers are gonna know. Like the customers are the driving point of your business and you have to give them the same product from day one as you've on day thousand, mm -hmm. you know, day five thousand. Um, so quality is really important. I would never tell you here, buy something that I wouldn't put in my own body. And I'm very snobby about, yes, yes I'm very snobby very about. Picky. Yes, I am, I'm picky. You know what I mean? Organic foods, this, that, the other mm -hmm. thing. So I'm not gonna be like, here's a synthetic hemp product that I got from China for only a couple cents on the dollar. Right and let me ask you to put it in your body so I can make it, like that's not, you know, that's not something we wanna stand for. We wanna be known for, you know, providing a high quality experience from our team all the way down to our products for every customer that comes through Herb Essentials. Awesome, that's, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> that's beautiful. Um, so we talked a little bit more about your, your additional products that you're gonna bring on. Mm -hmm. um, six months from now, where do you get, where are you guys plan to be? Uh, six months from now, I mean, we have a lot of really exciting things going on. Uh, six months from now, there's a lot of things in the works. We do plan to get involved in the horse industry. Um, it's something that's kind of working in now. Uh, we do have pet products, so we do one, ah, of those, yes. one of those bottles, I think, maybe. I don't know if I brought it. Um, Hemp CBD oil for pets. So right now, right now, every, I mean, technically you could give that to horses now, not a big enough dosage, but dogs like Lizzie, cats, um, any kind of mammal, you okay. can give CBD to because they, they do have that same uh, system in their right. bodies. And so pretty much same benefits as for like for humans. Yeah, really good for separation anxiety, uh. um, you know, joint pain, arthritis, you know, trouble sleeping. Um, so yeah, a lot of, I know too, one of our dogs that we have at home suffers from seizures. We mm -hmm. give him CBD oil. Uh -huh. um, so it, it has some incredible benefits for dogs oh, as well. That's amazing. Yeah. Yay, fantastic. All right, where can our audience find you? I already threw your yeah. website <laughs> out there, but any other places uh, or? Instagram. Instagram, okay, yeah. what's your handle? Herba Essentials, so Herba Essentials on Instagram. We have Facebook and then of course HerbaEssentials.com, so. Awesome. Yeah. Everybody, this is Brie. Fantastic. Yes, oh, and it's Herba with an E-R-B-A. That's right. There is no H. I will link that in our show <laughs> notes. Yes, we'll spell that out correctly yes. for you. Um, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for having me. Guys, go and get you some CBD oil. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs>